Hi, this is Barb, and we're going to talk about forgiveness. And uh, forgiveness is a, a word that we uh, talk about in the church, and we say, oh, we have to forgive everybody. We have to be sure not to hold grudges. We don't want to, uh, to walk in any kind of bitterness or bitter root judgments. We have all sorts of words that we build around that idea of forgiveness. And I've heard that said in church all my life, but nobody ever sat me down and said, okay, Barbara, make a list of the people that you need to forgive. Has anybody ever done that for you? I can remember praying for someone one day, and she was a woman that uh, didn't speak any English, and she had two daughters there that were English-speaking, and I walked into the house. This woman had a severe blood issue, and she was going into Austin to get transfusions four times a week. And uh, I heard the word from the Lord very clearly that this was a forgiveness issue when I walked in the house. And I said to the girls, I said, is there somebody your mom needs to forgive? And they sort of rolled their eyes and I said, said are you kidding? It's her mother. So she was a woman in her 60s and she'd been holding on to that angerness and unforgiveness and bitterness all her life. And physically, emotionally, spiritually, it was eating her lunch. So we worked with her, and it took a while, but she finally understood the importance of forgiveness. She forgave her mother, and she only went back for one more transfusion. Healing came as a result of that forgiveness. What we know is that unforgiveness is a huge block to healing. Let's just think about what the words are in scripture, the words that we say in, the, in our prayer that we say all the time, forgive us of our trespasses, we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And then the next verse says, forgive so that we can be forgiven. Wow. I want you to know how important that forgiveness exercise is. I'd just like to encourage you to take a look at the words in Scripture that Jesus uses and then sit down and make out that list. Ask the Holy Spirit to remind you of anybody you need to forgive, whether it's something that happened yesterday or something that happened 50 years ago, and then work through that form that we've attached here. Take a look at it, forgive, bless that person, break all that judgment off of them because that's always part of unforgiveness, right? And then break those soul ties, which are also important. You will find that will bring you a new freedom and a freedom to love that person and bless it as you never thought possible. Do it today.